Hello and welcome to Dart tutorial. In this video, you will learn how to read file in Dart. Now let me share my screen and let's do it. Okay. Here you can see important information about file handling. File handling just means you can read file, write file, delete file. You can do anything you want to do with that file. Okay. Now let me open my Visual Studio code and let me create one file. Okay this is name.txt okay let me put elon mox okay okay now let me create a dart program that will read this file okay i'll just say main.dart or i'll say read.dart okay read.dart okay now let me create main method this is main method and first i need to import import dart io okay okay why we are importing dart io because we need to create file object create file object okay okay file i'll say small file is equal to file okay here you need to write the name of this file okay you can give the name of that file that is name.txt and let me read the file okay read file content okay i'll read all the file content in content variable okay content is equal to file dot read age string sync okay and then let me print content okay if i run this program okay okay here you can see elon mox got printed if i write here bimal if i write it mohan mark okay if i write all these names then th this will print all the name of that file in this way you can easily read the content from file this is very very easy okay now let's move forward and here you, you can see uh, how you can get the file information okay if you want to get the file information then just you first you need to create object and then you can just print file dot path okay this will print the file name and if i say file dot absolute then this will provide the full path of that file and if i say file dot length sync okay this is method length sync then this will give the file size in bytes okay let's check it i'll just go to name.txt properties and here you can see 29 bytes and here you can see 29 bytes okay this is bytes and another one is last modified sync okay this sync means this is synchronous operation we'll learn what is synchronous operation what is asynchronous operation in our asynchronous programming section okay if i run this program here you can see the file last modified date got printed okay in this way you can uh, get the details of the file now let's learn about csp file csp means comma separated values uh, it is a plain text file that contains data in organized table format where columns are separated by commas and rows are separated by line breaks okay and csp file is used for data exchange between different application data backup and restore importing and exporting data from database and automation of data processing tasks okay now let me create one csp file okay I'll just create one CSV file. I'll say contact 
डॉट सी एस बी ओके दिस इज माई सी एस बी फाइल एंड आई राइट नेम एंड आई ऑल्सो राइट फोन ओके आई से बीमल एंड दिस इज द फोन नंबर ऑफ बीमल एंड आई से हैरी एंड दिस इज द फोन नंबर ऑफ हैरी एंड आई से मार्क and this is the phone number of mark okay now let me create program that will read this csv file we'll use this program i'll say contact.csv contact.csv okay and let me remove all of the information i will not remove all the information first i need to read the content okay if i print the content then it will print all of the content okay that that i'll say read dot dot okay here you can see all the information got printed but if you want to print only name okay how you can do that for this first we need to split i'll say string or i'll say Uh, list of string list of string split it is equal to content dot split we need to split by backslash new line okay and let me write loop okay for for a string in split it okay for a string i need to write one name i'll say string text okay i'll just print text zero okay okay first here i i also need to split the that text okay a string first name i'll say name a string name is equal to text dot split and i need to split the text by okay i need to text dot split and let me write zero index okay okay text dot split i need to split by comma and let me write zero index okay and for the phone number i'll say one index okay if i print name then here you can see name bimal harry mark okay and if i say phone here you can see phone number got displayed printed okay in this way you can also read csv file this is very very easy and if you want to read uh, some part of file then you can uh, easily do that okay and just uh, this will print if i print content then this will print all of the content okay if you want to print only name okay then you can use sub string okay i'll say dot sub string and then i'll say 0 comma 5 okay okay name comma okay 0 comma 4 if i run this here you can see name got printed okay if you want to learn more about this sub string then you can uh, go to our previous section string in that okay in this way you can read the file if you want to read the file from a specific directory just provide the full uh, directory uh, name here you need to provide the full path okay uh, you can easily read a file from a specific directory and thank you so much for watching this video up to the very end If you have any question then comment down below and I will see you in the next video thank you